Hi everyone, today we are speaking about how you can ace your online courses. Um, as our guest, we have Dr. Amanda Groff from the University of Central Florida. Uh, she's an associate lecturer and online coordinator in the Department of Anthropology. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so before we get into specific tips, do you have any overarching advice for students to help alleviate the stress and anxiety they might be feeling heading into a semester full of online classes? Sure, absolutely. Um, I think a lot of stress and anxiety for students comes from that unknown, the unknown of what online is going to be like. So uh, I like to recommend to students to do some investigating before the semester starts. Uh, go look at your university's websites that concern online education and see if they have any tutorials about the learning platform uh, that online courses are given in. Uh, understanding what it looks like, kind of have it, how it functions is, is going to be immensely helpful at alleviating some of that anxiety uh, that, you, that you encounter as you're endeavoring upon taking online courses. Um, great. So there's a lot of negativity surrounding online classes right now. Uh, so to put a positive spin on things and help students become more excited, can you walk me through some of the benefits of online learning, the positive aspects of taking classes online? Sure. Um, so there is this negativity that comes with some online, um, but I actually see it as quite the opposite. Uh, I find that students through online education and, and taking numerous online courses really do enhance their time management skills because being online students requires you to take ownership of your own education uh, and, and learn what works best for you uh, with, with getting and completing coursework within a timely amount, uh, within a good amount of time. Um, so I find that in the long run, students end up becoming better at time management, and this is reflected in traditional face-to-face -face courses uh, beyond going online. Um, additionally, I think a, a really wonderful benefit is the flexibility that online education offers students because these days, students aren't what they used to be 30 years ago. They are non-traditional. They have families. They have jobs. And online courses give them the opportunity to engage in coursework um, while making it work within their own life schedule. Great. Um, so now let's kind of get down to the grades, what a lot of students really are focused on here. Um, so preparing for online classes before the semester starts, uh, what are some actions, some things students can do to give them a head start and uh, set them up the, themselves up for a successful semester? Uh, there's a few things I can actually suggest here. Um, first of which is to really do a self-evaluation of when you learn best. Um, some people are morning people. And so maybe that's when they schedule themselves to do their work for their online courses. Some people are, are night owls. Maybe they work better in the evenings. So I think a lot of self-evaluation is important before the semester starts to realize, okay, I work better in the mornings. Let me build a routine for all of my courses uh, that focus on that morning time or the evening time, whatever works best. Um, and with that, they, I think it's immensely important to really think about um, their routine that they're going to go forward with in the semester. Um, you know, figuring out, okay, this is going to be my work schedule. Uh, this is what, you know, my responsibilities are with children or um, other things related to the home. Uh, so I think it's very, very important for students to do some self-evaluation before the semester starts. Um, I also think it's really very important for uh, students to reach out if they aren't sure how the course is going to work. Um, I, I'm, I'm on duty, faculty are on duty uh, a week or two, usually before the semester starts. So shoot us an email. If you're, if you're not quite sure how the class is going to work, send us a question. We're, we're very happy to engage with you and, and make sure the course is the right fit for you. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's uh, pretty much what I would advise students to do um, and to make sure that you have your textbook organized because uh, a lot of times online courses dive right in. They're, they're, you're going to have assignments that are going to come up within the first couple weeks of the semester. So it's important to have access to the textbook. So make sure, as with any course, to, to investigate what text is required and, and do your best to have that by the start of the semester. Okay, great. Um, so I know 
sometimes students actually can't choose where they're taking their online courses. Um, sometimes there are barriers that might keep some students in a room with a lot of other people. Other students though might be in their places where they're used to relaxing. So maybe their dorm room, their, their bedroom in their house or apartment. Um, so what are some tips you can give those students uh, to keep them motivated, organized, and productive while they might be taking their classes from their couch? Sure. Um, I think it's very important to uh, set up a routine um, and designate a location in your home, in your dorm room, that you solely identify as being related to doing coursework. Um, you know, it's so easy to sit on the couch and, and answer questions to a discussion post, but you really need to create a space that is all for your schoolwork. And that way you flip a switch in your brain, whatever you sit in that location. Uh, if you're sharing a dorm room, uh, you know, that can become complicated, but speaking with roommates, working out a schedule, like I need to work on my classes from this time to this time. I, can I have the, can I have the space or talking to your parents or talking to your partner about making sure the kids are occupied. Uh, and it's really, really very important to, to set up that routine. So the first day of the semester, look at your schedule. Uh, professors are gonna put up literally when everything's gonna be due throughout the semester and you can sit down and go, all right, on this day and this day, I'm gonna be working from this time to this time. I need to be left alone or this is my spot to work. Uh, and I think that's immensely important to, to be successful in online courses. Great, so you've already given us a, a ton of great tips. Um, I would ask though, do you have anything that comes to mind that maybe we haven't talked about yet? Some great big tips and tricks that we might have ignored so far that students can consider throughout the semester um, to help them excel in their online courses? Uh, probably the biggest piece of advice is um, study. You know, a lot of, of students will take for granted that perhaps they are allowed to use their textbook or they have this information at their fingertips. But I, I find it immensely important to dedicate time throughout the week leading up to a quiz or to an exam to really throw yourself into preparing for it, studying like you would any other type of course, any other type of modality. Um, it's immensely important to build those skills because you're going to carry those forward uh, in your career as a student. Um, I think probably the biggest tip I can give you um, students is, is to communicate. Um, communicate with me as your professor. If something is wrong, I won't know unless you speak up. So please, you know, let us know um, if you need assistance or you don't understand a concept or you're ill, you know, just communicate with us because quite often uh, online courses are well over a hundred students. So it's really hard for us to maintain what's going on in each individual student's lives. So you need to keep in touch with us so that we can best help you. Well, great. Thank you again very much, Dr. Groff, for taking the time to speak with us and provide your helpful tips. Oh, I'm very happy to help.